Paul Nordell. Can you give me a brief introduction to the company, please? Yes, of course, Joe. Uh, Nordell has been in business for 50 years, just over 50 years now. First established in 1968 under component molders. And during our time, we've been working towards building a better business. Now, it's one important part we need to play in building a better business is making sure that we give the team the right tools to do the job. So over the course of the years and the diversity of the market sectors that we've been involved in, um, we've been able to cross-fertilise a lot of the manufacturing solutions and the experience we've got to provide competitive advantage to our clients. Um, we've made to make sure that we provide the right infrastructure, the tools, the machines, the software to really give each individual here at Nordell as a growing team the best chance of doing the right job and the better job for Nordell. There's a lot of moulders in the country, so what makes you different, if anything? They don't have our team. Uh, without our team, Nordell is walls and bills. Our team makes us special. Um, during our years, we've worked with so many clients on real technical challenges in all the different sectors. Uh, we've really been able to understand what our clients need upwards and downwards from our point of involvement um, to make sure that we put them in the best position they can be going forward because if they do well, we do well. And that keeps them coming back. A reliable, consistent service of producing products for them um, which continuously supplies them with the advantages and the solutions that we started out working with on the outset of the projects. Do you have any projects or case studies you can tell us about? So there was one very recent project. Uh, there was a large project for Nordell, involved many people here within the business um, and a prestige speaker manufacturer uh, where we had to put a package together to ensure that they had con continuity of production and supply to their clients. We were able to work very closely with our clients and with uh, Romy as well, who were able to provide us with a 380 ton machine within one week. Uh, therefore, we were able to pick up the production, take away some of the craft elements, really industrialize the process so that we could get the consistency across multiple shifts. Um, throughout the, the working week and provide the client with the parts, um, the assemblies that they needed to continue to sell their world-class solutions. So we've got this Romy machine behind us. What is it you like about the Romy injection molder machines? They're very reliable and the specifications, it suits us. The short weight, the size of them and their control panel is very well thought. It's all logical the pages follows each other like you follow the injection molding process and you can monitor all the aspects of the whole process. And how are things like scrap rates? Have they improved since you've been buying machines from Romy? Luckily with these Romy's, since we use them and we set up a process, we save the programs and the repeatability is very important. So we just put a tool in we load their programs and we run it with pretty much minimal scrap rate. So when you put a new mould in and you need to get uh, moulds off as fast as possible, you know, how long does it take? As soon as we heat the barrel up and we heat the tool up, a few shots later we've got good mouldings off from the machine. And how does that compare to the other machines? Oh, the other machines, it took at least 20, 30 shots, the older ones. So the energy consumption is a lot less on this machine as well, I understand? Yes, they're a lot quieter, we're using a lot less material to purge it, we're getting the barrels clean easier. So what you're saying is it's more energy efficient, you know, you're getting less scrap, it's easier to use, so it sounds like a no-brainer, you know, you want some more of these machines. Yes, our future plan is we would like to replace a couple of older machines to get these Romy's in. Mainly it's with the programming, the Romy service Engineers always have full on their phone lines and they're always available. Neil, we're here at Nordell and I have to say they seem very happy with roaming machines, you know. How's it all worked out? It's been very good actually. Um, they approached us about three, four years ago looking for a, an alternative supplier to their current incumbent one. 
Um, so I came along, done a nice presentation explaining about Romy as a company, how big we are at 400 million pound turnover and the number of machines that we sell. Uh, Romy taking over Sandretto UK that had a very good uh, name in the marketplace for service and support. And that all helped uh, in the decision making process for Nordell to come with Romy. And Romy Machines, you know, you're not the only manufacturer of injection molder machines. So why Romy and not the, the incumbent? You know, what makes your machines different and maybe even better? So, yeah, the, again, the reason the customer came to us against uh, competition is the fact that, A, we keep a good stock of machines, which is uh, important for quick delivery, uh, which is one of the reasons why Nordell bought uh, the 380 opposite us, because uh, we are able to deliver that and get them running within a week. Uh, the other thing is service and support, again, because we carry a large stock. We're around about 1.2 million in spares, and our service manager on the service desk is really good at getting these guys up and running quickly, which is very important. Have you got any unique selling points? Yeah, we have. I mean, on the Romy machines, we have a good opening stroke on the machine. It's one of the best on the market. So if you've got a big product to get out, then we have the space to be able to remove that. Uh, the other thing is the tie bar space in platens and uh, machine obviously with the energy efficiency with the Siemens uh, servo drive pump system on there. And this is an EN100 uh, uh, behind you, I think there's a 280 down the shop as well. You know, where did your range start and where does it finish currently? Okay, so the range starts from the 70 tonne and currently we go up to 1500 tonne. Emma, we live in a world of digitisation. You've got to remain competitive, like Paul said. What are we looking at behind us? OK, so um, recently we've just invested in an ERP system, IQMS, and um, part of the continuous striving to um, improve what we're doing with, uh, with our business is um, kind of adding in the 4.0 ready um, side of things from um, a real-time getting information back from the machine, being able to process that information and make the improvements that need to be made there and then um, within the business itself or within um, whether we need to look at the training of an operator or whether we need to look at the way that a machine is running. It gives us that information and that feedback from the machine straight away. So we're processing all this data. What does it tell us about the Romy machines? Um, well, we use the data um, and we're able to see the consistency that the machines are able to provide us um, from feedback from how an operator-led machine is, is functioning to how a machine that is running automatically. So this is our, our 380 tonne machine and you can see the consistency in how it's running. Um, we're also able to get energy information back um, through obviously some of our KPIs through um, being an ISO 14001 um, accredited company. Um, so the servo electric side of the mach machinery is able to, you know, feedback and we're able to get that um, that record to be able to show that we're actually being able to be environmentally friendly as well in what we're doing. So using less energy, scraps down, efficiencies up, is that a fair comment? Yeah, I think so. Um, we, we tend to find that actually we've added a lot more consistency into our processing, um, being able to have the tighter controls from the machinery um, and being able to understand what we're actually getting from the machine there and then um, has allowed us to be able to increase our, our levels and our yield. We've worked quite hard to ensure that uh, we, uh, we prioritise our corporate responsibility as a business. Now, over the last five years, the Nordell is near twice the size it was. We're manufacturing twice as much as we were. We've been able to do that with employing the latest smart equipment, um, and we've been able to maintain our electricity bills at the size they were some five years ago. We see that uh, one replacement, which was a Sandretto 250 tonne machine, 30 kilowatt consumption replaced with a 380 ton Romy injection molding machine um, is one major part in ensuring that we are energy efficient going forward. Also in addition to that we find that the closed loop circuit, the feeding off the error signals has enabled us to improve the yield that we get from these machines and it's a percentage game at the end of the day. We're looking for repeatability, consistency and those numbers add up.
in terms of projects, that sounds like a very successful project. If there's another one through the door, are you likely to invite Romy? Uh, yes, of course. We've been working with Romy now for about five years. Um, and I always like to think that people vote with their feet. So if we have um, some machine manufacturers um, with their machines on site, the one that has the repeated work going to it, the one that becomes the setters, the technician's favourite, the operator's favourite, and ultimately the customer's and Nordell's favourite, uh, is the one that everybody walks to.